So in front of me here, I have another uh, French knife. I've become quite fond of French knives over the last like two years or so since I've started ordering knives from knivesoffrance.com. Um, this is one that he posted last Friday, I think. Um, and I decided to go ahead and order it. And this is the GR gutter in horn handles. Um, I don't, I'm not sure why it's called the gutter. It looks like it says here Gutier. Maybe that's gutter in French. I don't know. Um, but it's, you know, fairly sizable knife and it's got this big, uh, sheep foot blade here. Um, big sheep's foot blade. It's got the GR thing. It's got the little guy stamped into it. His face in this instance is horrifying. I'm not sure what happened to his face, but it's like not there. He's like the faceless man. And it's slightly concerning. Um, so I'm not sure what that's about. But I feel like my other GR knives that have like the man stamped in them, his face is more clear than that. Um, but yeah, so you get a big sheep's foot blade. It's like eh, about three and a half inches long, something like that. Uh, the edge is about three and a quarter. So fairly sizable blade. The knife closed is probably about four inches yeah it's about four inches a little more than four inches and it's about four and a quarter about four and a quarter inches long closed um good action on this knife opening of course closing these french knives you have to be careful because most of them do not have a kick and they'll just rest right on the back spring um, so you be careful when closing them or your blade will just crash right into the back spring and that's not good um but yeah so the knife overall seems to be put together pretty well see the back part here there's pretty much no gaps maybe some very slight gaps um but the knife appears to be put together really well uh blade centering looks pretty centered honestly so that's cool um like i said before the action is really good snaps open with a lot of authority uh, no blade play, which is nice, of course. Uh, it's got these really interesting detailed bolsters here where they kind of have like uh, a gutter, perhaps, maybe even, cut into the bolster there, which is a nice little detail, and then two little um, lines in the bolster. So pretty cool little detailed bolster there you get. Um, I think this knife was about $65, but I'm not really sure. Um, I don't really remember. Um, of course, this is in horn. Show the handles here a bit. This is in horn. Let's see if I can show this off better. I still need to work on getting a better light one of these days. Um, let's see if I can show off the horn here. Yeah, I need to get better light. But you can see here the horn fairly dark horn um, it's got a little white spot there in the horn horn varies a lot um, here on the paper that Stefan the owner of Knives of France sent me um, you can see here this is the GR gutter horn he checks over the knives before he sends them out make sure that you know they're okay and everything uh, right here's where all of his stuff is, where you can follow him. Um, he does have a blog. So if you want to learn about French knives, go over there and check that out. He's a little personal note here to me. Um, because he, he knows who I am. Um, so he always, uh, well, not always, but sometimes he'll leave a little note for me. So he picked out a darker one for me. I think because he knew that the other horn knives that I had gotten or more white or like a lighter color horn. So I think he wanted to send me one that had a darker color horn. I like his little emboss mint here. I think that's what they call that. I think that's new. I don't remember that before. I may just have overlooked it before, uh, but I like that. It's a nice little touch. Look, looks good, Stefan. Um, but yeah, so knife from knivesoffrance.com. 
he seems like a really cool guy. I like to order knives from him. Um, I've started, you know, me and him have both started posting knives on Instagram um, under French Friday, the hashtag French Friday. Um, so I try to do that every Friday. And Steel City Knives, something like that. I'm sorry if I got your name wrong, buddy. He posts a video on a French knife every Friday here on YouTube. Um, so maybe go check him out. Um, but as always, with Knives of France, you get a little paper. You get a packing slip, of course. You get the paper showing what it's called and uh, showing that he did function tests on the knife and everything. You get one of his business cards. And I've always gotten a sticker. And I like his stickers. They're really cool. He uses this rooster as like his uh, logo. When you get a box from him, the box will actually have one of these rooster stickers on the side of the box. So you immediately know when you see the box that, that that's your knife from knivesoffrance.com, uh, which is kind of neat. Uh, I was pulling up to the house today, and I saw sitting on the porch, right at the edge of the porch, which isn't great, um, was my box with my uh, rooster sticker on it. So I knew, knew my knife came. Um, I'm not sure why USPS... Sometimes they're great, and other times it's like they're in a super rush. And I'm sure, you know, I'm sure they are in a big rush a lot of the times. And we didn't have any other mail today, so that could factor in as well. But I feel like the box would have fit in our little mailbox thing that we have. Um, but maybe not. I don't know. Um, and like I said, I think not having any other mail uh, really probably factored in there. Um, but yeah, cool knife. GR Gutier or Gutter. <laughs> um, I really like the bolsters on this. I like how like the little detail and stuff on them. Uh, it just makes it slightly different than the other uh, French knives that I have. Um, it's very similar to the violin as far as like the handle shape and everything. Uh, but the blade shape is quite different. This is just a big uh, sheep's foot or you might even call it a Warncliffe. So for I've always seen a Warncliffe as more of like a drastic downturn. This is much more of like a sheep's foot for me, as far as I'm concerned. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, you could even maybe say that this is some sort of big Barlow because it's got this extended bolster here. Now I'm not going to say that, but I mean, technically, <laughs> it does have the, the elongated bolster. Um, I believe... That the entire knife is steel, the bolsters, the pins, the liners, the back spring, obviously, the blade, all carbon steel, as far as I'm aware. The blade is certainly carbon steel. And I think they use C75 or XC75, but it's C75, which is fine. Um, some people will, you know, say that that's not good enough. And, you know, I think technically speaking, it's not as good as 1095. But I think you'd have to be somebody who used their knife like to a huge amount to notice any kind of difference between C75 and 1095 because, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it's it holds an edge long enough to cut cardboard, open boxes, and all that stuff. So I don't ever worry about it. Um, but anyway, neat little knife, or neat, uh, rather large knife, actually. Um, really cool. As soon as I saw him post this, I think this is the second time he's posted a picture of it uh, on Instagram. And I finally decided that I wanted it because I really like the bolster and the big sheep's foot blade. I don't know. Sheep's foot blades have been growing on me because I carried that uh, Arthur Wright and Son Barlow with the sheep's foot style blade for like a month. So I think the sheep's foot blades are really starting to grow on me a little bit. So I may start carrying some of my sheep's foot blade knives uh, more, but we'll see. Uh, but anyway, this is the GR gutter or Gutierre or whatever in uh, horn. And it is a wonderful knife that I really like so far. I haven't carried it yet, of course. Planning on doing that tomorrow. This video is going live on Monday, but I'm filming this on a Thursday night, which means that tomorrow is Friday. So this will be my uh, French Friday knife this week. Um, but anyway, um, other than <laughs> the guy who, the faceless man, 
who uh, something happened to his face. I'm not sure what happened to his face, but something did. Um, knife's pretty pretty neat. Uh, certainly very well assembled and everything. And you even get a little tang stamp there that says uh, made in France. So that's neat too. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one, and I hope you have a good day.